hypnosis, hypnotherapy, and hypnoanalysis. So hypnosis is a state of mind. Everybody knows what hypnosis is. Everybody's been in hypnosis two times uh, every day. Just before we wake up and just before we go to sleep, we pass through hypnosis. There are two. There are basically three states of mind. There's the awake state. There's a sleep state. And then in between is hypnosis. Now, in working on problems, any kind of problem, we want messages to get in a person's conscious, subconscious mind. Now, um, the difference between what I call the conscious mind looks like a little pea. Okay, we're going to call this the pea brain. All right, and then the, the subconscious mind looks more like a potato, and we're going to call this the potato brain. Now, the potato brain is a lot bigger than the, the conscious pea brain. Okay, and everything, anything we've ever learned, everything you know how to do is taken over by the subconscious of potato brain. It's much larger than the pea brain. The pea brain is where our current education system focuses on the pea brain, not, this, not the potato brain. So you want to be able to get the potato brain working for you, the subconscious, not against you. And the reason we use hypnosis is because, according to Dick Sutton, who's a, uh, a long-time hypnotist and trainer, we're about 200 times more suggestible when we're in the state of hypnosis than we are when we're conscious, in the conscious thinking mind, mm -hmm. which is the pea brain. The pea brain doesn't accept information. And it's, it's small, it's little, in comparison. Not in the brain, not in the brain, but figuratively. So, and the problem with the pea brain is that even when we're, when we're a teenager, you know, our prefrontal cortex doesn't develop until we're about 25. Mm -hmm. So, teenagers, they have like half pee. <laughs> <laughs> you That's know. who I work with all day. Right. They got half a pee, they're <laughs> 10 feet tall, they're, they're bulletproof. Pardon? I don't know if you're old. Just, I do have, I do have, they're older. Okay. okay. All right. So, we use hypnosis. Uh, because we're 200 times more suggestible in hypnosis than we are in the waking state. Hypnotherapy is getting a person into the hypnotic state and applying positive suggestions, such as you're going to eat less and enjoy it more, you're going to breathe freely without nicotine or substances, positive ideas. You, you will feel good, you love yourself, your, you have a positive attitude, your expectation for yourself is, is to move into the next good thing that's going to happen to you. Those kinds of ideas. And you want those planted and growing in the potato brain. Potatoes grow underground. And that's, why we, that's why I say potato brain. Because these are in the background, our subconscious mind. So, just before we wake up, we're in sleep, and just before we wake up, we pass through hypnosis, just like this, into waking state. And then when we go to sleep, we start out here, we go through hypnosis, and we go into sleep state. Now, hypnotherapy is applying positive suggestions when you're in a state of hypnosis. Hypnoanalysis, which is described in my book, The Secrets from Your Subconscious Mind, and what that is, is finding the negative suggestions that are in this potato brain causing problems that are operating behind the scenes. And you can't control, if you try and control what's happening in the subconscious mind, but with the pea brain, the subconscious works. Subconscious usually wins. 
because the suggestions can be buried deeply in there and have to do with your overall survival. So that's what hypnoanalysis is, is looking for those suggestions and removing them. So I'll give you a good example of that. I had a golfer who came to me, and he was living in his car. His father was supporting him. And he couldn't do very well at all, although he was a great golfer. He was a young kid, 25 years old. So I put him through the whole process described in the book. And what happened was that when he was five years old, his parents got divorced. Then he overate, and the other kids made fun of him. He decided he didn't want to be who he was. So he thought, I'm going to try and be somebody else at five. 20 years later, he's in my office. He's going around all these golf teachers, trying to be them. Once he realized that, we got his subconscious mind to give us that information, that was the end of the story. He totally changed his whole, mind, his, whole, his whole life. He got out of his car, he bought a home, started his own business, he had, had an alcoholic girlfriend, he got rid of her, and um, he got on the PGA Tour, and he's, got his own, he's doing great, he's having kids now, he's married. But it was based on something he decided when he was five. And there's the problem. And that was buried in the subconscious mind. Now, the issue with the subconscious is this. Even the Catholic Church recognizes that children under seven years old cannot be responsible for what they do. Because their brain only produces hypnosis. Their brain, they don't have a pea brain yet. The pea brain starts to come online after seven years old and can learn the difference between right and wrong. So a five-year-old can decide, I don't want to be who I am, I'm going to be somebody else and believe that they're going to do it. And then if that gets buried and then they're living their life based on that, it screws their life up. Now, how do I know this? I'll explain that. I also do what's called brain biofeedback. And what that is, you all know, everybody in here is familiar with a, a computer, right? Yeah. Alright, this is your hard drive in your computer. And then I'm going to call this, this is a CD, we're going to call that software. Software. And this is your um, computer, your hard drive. So this is the brain in a human being. We'll call this, we'll call it a hue, in a hue, one of us. Your brain and your mind. So there are two things that are operational in making us the way we are. Our hard drive, our brain, and sometimes the brain goes wacko, which is a technical term, <laughs> a professional term for the brain starts getting uh, in, it starts getting repetitive and it gets stuck in a pattern and can't get out. And sometimes people have ADD, ADHD, they have perceptual problems and whatnot because the brain is malfunctioning. The mind, which, is, which has to do with your decisions, which is your software, your decisions, your aspirations, your wishes, things people have told you, those kinds of things that are in your subconscious mind that operate all the time. Consciousness is allowed to operate in the brain. Does that make sense to you? Just like in your computer, your software is allowed to run on your hardware. On your hardware. What happens when your hardware goes wet? goes out. Your software doesn't work right, correct? So those are the two things I do. I examine the subconscious mind, in other words, a person's software, and remove the negative suggestions like the golfer I told you about. The second thing I do is I work on the brain, which looks at the, the hundred billion neurons in the brain and assesses how they are firing. Sometimes a person's brain will get stuck on high. You have, you have children uh, in your school who are always hyper, right? Mm -hmm. 
That's because a part of their brain is, is thinking they're running from a, a tiger. Mm -hmm. It's stuck there. Mm -hmm. Other kids are just lethargic, right? And they're all filled with apathy and whatnot. And that can be because their part of their brain is stuck in, let's say, alpha theta. It's like they're in hypnosis all the time. So the 100 billion neurons, they go like, they operate like this. They, from zero to four, this is called the delta level. From four to eight, this is the theta level. From eight to about 12, we call that the alpha level. And from 12 to 15, this is called SMR. And then from 15 up to about 25 is called beta level. Now, hypnosis is right here. When the brain predominantly produces from 4 to 12 hertz or frequencies or firings per second, then a person's in hypnosis. Every day we pass right through that. Okay, when you're sleeping, the brain produces zero to predominantly zero to four hertz. And then when we're awake, this is neutral. And this, in the beta here, this is our critical thinking and uh, analyzing, judging. So, wait, is the beta up there with the awake? Yeah, so I just, I reversed you it. You reversed it? So the zero to four is the delta, that's the sleep? Sleep, yeah. Okay. Zero to four, that's sleep. Okay. Uh, this is hypnosis, this, okay. this frequency, okay. and these frequencies awake. are awake. And then the, the beta is really awake? That's real. <laughs> There's high beta, too, that goes from 20 to about 40 times. You're really awake. That's high beta. Now, you need that. You need your brain to do this. If you get chased, if you're yeah. walking down a dark alley and somebody's okay. coming after you, you want to run. Where are we when we're awake mainly? Is that 12 to 15? 12, from here, from 12 to about 20. Uh -huh, that's so what depends what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And the brain has to accommodate. Okay. What are we right now? Well, it depends. Are you sleeping yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably you could be right in here or here. If so, if we listen to this at night and we fall asleep listening to it. Not to worry about it. That's okay. Yeah, just do it the next time. Just do it the next day, or should we then, if we continue to fall asleep, would it be better than to listen to it, say, in, you know, like after school, when I get home from school, that yeah, be better? Yeah, or sit up when you're listening to it. Okay. okay. Regarding the CD, do you count this up? Yeah, at the end of it. Oh, okay. okay. Count this up? Yeah. Wake yeah, so up. you might wake up if, if you think you're sleeping. <laughs> yeah, well, wait. I wake you up. Yeah. Oh, you wake me up? Yeah. So this is how you understand it, and that's why we use hypnosis, because we're really uh, amenable to the positive suggestions under the state of hypnosis. Okay? So any questions about this? This, this is really cool. Since I started to know, since, since I started doing brain biofeedback, people can see. I had one today who came in. And she, her brain is, is low on a bunch of stuff, and she has trouble focusing. And you can see it on the graph. When, when we, I have this machine, it's an EEG machine. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Yeah, it's really cool. So that's why we use hypnosis.